<laughs> you come out of Woodman's, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. She's like, what you get? Well, you said that you like Swedish fish and dots, so I got the big boxes. So when you go in the movie, she gonna be mad at you. Because she gonna be like, girl, this nigga cheat. Guess what he did on the way to the movies? This nigga stopped at Woodman's because I said I wanted some Swedish fish and and some dots and gonna run in there, didn't even say nothing to me, and then gonna come out with it. And like, here, this so you can have as much as you need while you be in there because, you know, they gonna give you that little box and run out and they gonna charge you six fifty. Back. This box was two dollars, and it's gonna last you a week. Plus, I got um, you, you the bag of Swedish fish. They want seven fifty for the Swedish fish up in there. You gonna be able to take some home. You can take this. You can eat in there. She gonna be mad at you. She gonna go tell her friends you cheat. Yeah. I can't believe he embarrassed me like that. Yeah. But when she go to take her kids, and you ain't watching. She gonna be hoarding was, anything into that bag she can get in that bag mm -hmm. to try to sneak it in that movie. But when she go with you, you gotta do some extra dumb ass shit that don't make no fucking sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. But she know goddamn well that ain't how she roll. Mm -hmm. Now, did y'all hear what the elder just said? That was beautifully, masterfully displayed. In case it went over y'all head, I'm gonna say it to you this way. What makes sense to us? You got enough to go home and even get some to your kids if you got kids. Yeah. Nope. I'm pimping. Yeah. You finna pay fifteen dollars for a box of candy. Aha. Uh -huh. Nah 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 nah. And then I'm gonna forget <laughs> it and actually leave it in there. Guess what? Guess oh what? damn! I ain't, that was a few left. I I leave the orange. You gonna throw the motherfucker away? Guess what? Ish. Guess what the nigga woman is saying to your dad? They sitting in his lap like he's Santa. And they gonna tell them they want the what? Chrome all feet? The, I want all. I want an Xbox with all the game. I want a Lexus with Chrome feet on it. <laughs> That's the nigga one. Chrome feet. I, you know. <laughs> but but think of, but think about what the we just we said. talking in a mean way. But these are statistics. We done already put Proverbs the videos 31, up. Three. These these already we already said. I got an article to bring out too. Now guess what? Uh, before you bring that out, right? You got it, Ish? Yeah. Your dad loved this one, bro. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Destroyeth kings. When you give your strength to a woman, you'll be in the movie theater spending $40 for some knickknacks when you could have went to Dollar Tree, you could have went to Woodman's and got the same shit for eight bucks. Right, but in her mind... $25 savings. No, right. You're going to spend the whole 31 Right, right, right. It was. It's almost like if you buy a woman a, a, a you can go pay a five thousand dollars for a vacuum cleaner and give it to her on her birthday. She's gonna be mad. But if you buy a man a five thousand dollar vacuum cleaner, he don't really even do that much vacuuming, and you present that to him on his birthday, he's like, "Damn, you know, what's this? This is a vacuum. five thousand dollar vacuum cleaner." You'd be like, "Damn, <laughs> for real." Shit, let me vacuum some shit then. Now guess what? I got. You be bragging me. to your friends like, "Dog, you know what this is." What man? It's a Kirby dog. What's that? Yeah, this is the Kirby supermodel. Boo boo boo. The girl, the way he bought this. Mm. Nigga, you don't vacuum shit. I know, but this motherfucker called Five G's. I got it up in the garage. You know what I'm saying? Polish him up. Put him in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Boo boo boo. He gonna come in handy. He even up with a little code. Now check this you out. You happy? Now check this out. I, I, I seen Pimpy Ken talk about this, right? I hope I don't butcher the story, but he talked about. Let's just say you get the whiz a fur coat, right? Now, it's a $10,000 price tag on the coat. But in reality, it was really a thousand. And you had, oh boy, put the put the $10,000 right, price right. tag on it. Somebody at her job got the same exact coat. And they'd be like, you paid 10 for that? You're asking only a thousand dollars. And then she find out it's a duplicate. It's a thousand dollars. Now, when, she, when you first gave it to her, thank you for the $10,000 fur. She find out it's really a thousand shit shit on you. Well, she'll forget all about. Well, not, not once you wife. put that once you put that tag on there though, that's that changes it. Cause then that make you lie. You feel what I'm saying? But if it had say, say it was, I think more or less it would it would be better to say it like. You got that ten thousand dollar coat, but for, you only paid a that, right? And then you told her it was new. But really, it wasn't new. Your guy girl, he, he bought it. She had it for a year. She only wore it once. 
but the tag still on it. Right. So here, just give me a stack, and then you take it to her like you bought it to, to the store. That lie is legit. Yeah, she'll, but just she'll, she'll buying she'll her a thousand dollar with this, slapping the ten thousand dollar just tag on that motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. That's woo wee. You'll be mad. And hey, you, 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 you. She you, bought you, you some you, fake you. J bones and yeah, put the motherfucking real tag. You'll be mad to me. She's like, whoa. What do this? Like, the why real? would you even do that? You, if you was able to fake, you just just told me like, dude, what I got you. I don't know if you gonna like them. But faking it around, hey, though, that would do did it step by step. But hold Patrick on, Duffy hey, but hold on. I, okay, I hear you, right? But wouldn't that be considered ungrateful for her to to? Technically, because you bought it, but you know that you give a woman a, a out like you lie like that. You can't do it. Basically, what we're saying is you got to be as authentic as possible with the nigga. Buy it from a booster yeah. and then give it to her. If she find out you bought it from a she booster, gonna, she, she treat might. You. If she know you didn't pay full price, she's gonna, she gonna be mad. She like, how much you pay for this for real? And do it matter? It's the one out the store. <laughs> I know, but how much did you pay for it? You can say, say she find out you only paid 80 bucks for that motherfucker for a dope but it was a $10,000 fur when the niggas broke in the store. They got so many of them, they trying to get high. Now, she'll be pissed. Yeah. You only pay $80 for this? What difference do it make? It's the $10,000 one. She don't care. She wants she want you to see the paid 10 G's receipt for that motherfucker. For it to even matter. So she can go on TikTok and be like, you know, Stein. But if she get it herself, oh uh, yeah, she'll take the eight. She'll 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 put the ten thousand dollar tag on there and fake herself out on Instagram with it. <laughs> Pay a thousand and then put the tag on there. But it's you, but but you can't get to the cross if you, if you do, do it. it, right? So let's get back to Isaiah four and one to sum this whole situation. Give up. it to him again. Is we gonna have is give him give him that one more time, man. Take your time. We know you 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 you've been pulling scripts. Isaiah four and one. I want y'all to pay close attention to this. So like it. After he read this, we're going to go into some cause and effect. Yeah, I got it. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right. Now, I'm going to explain something to you. Because there's a situation here with a landlord called Barada, and he's capitalizing off of Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. Absolutely. He is like, he is the God yeah. of Wisconsin's <laughs> capitalization of Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. Yeah, he's, yeah. This is AmericanProgress.org as of August 14th, 2023, and the report title is The Disproportion. The disproportionate burden of eviction on black women. Yeah. The United States continue to face an eviction crisis that has been exacerbated. Exacerbated. What the fuck? Exacerbated. Is it exacerbated? Exacerbated. Exer, what the fuck? I can't read now. Which, which one? Which word is it? Ex. Oh, that's exacerbated. 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 Yeah, God exacerbated. damn. Yeah. yeah. What and, am I fucking and, retarded? And, and he's a, he's one of the great, exacerbated. the speakers in the world too. Exacerbated. Yeah. That is it. Exacerbated. Yeah. I've never heard that word before. Let's what look, the fuck? Let me look it up, man. What? Yeah. What? I think I know what it means in context. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Look that up. Exacerbated. That means it got worse, right? Exacerbated. Is that ex, 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 yep, it's, exacerbated? It's, it says make a problem bad solution worse. Okay. See, I know through um That's it. You exacerbated. Yep. So I knew through to, context. Yep, to make it more severe, bitter, okay, worse. Okay, thank you. The US, the United States continues to face an eviction crisis that has been exacerbated by the COVID nineteen pandemic. Exacerbated. Exact, exacerbate. Yep, yeah, exacerbate. Is yeah. exacerbate. Yeah. And that disproportionately affects communities of color, particularly the Boy. black female. See that? Racial discrimination and systematic racism have kept the United States communities of color trapped in a cycle of poverty and housing and instability. That's a lie. That's a lie. And and I and no black people can sit up and be mad all they want to. When you look at the numbers collectively, 
on paper that are flourishing in these communities. Mm -hmm. the, the poverty comes from a lack of education on how to manage money. Okay? God. Why and how do we know that? Because the GDP of Americans, the gross domestic product of the black American, we the sixth richest nation in the world collectively in the United States. Meaning that if we did like potato wedges and did what they did <laughs> with their money, oh, guess yeah, what? That is, <laughs> we would be unstoppable. But this is this is a cop out for the female. Mm -hmm. Because racial discrimination and systematic racism historically have kept US communities of color trapped in cycles of poverty and housing instability. That is today in modern day America, that's a lie. What it is, is the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and our inability, male or female, to come together collectively financially because we are the sixth richest nation in the world and black people in America. Facts. The black woman is controlling 75% of the total income that comes into the black community. Oh, damn. And Barada is going to come into this because uh, he's a landlord and the black woman is in slavery to him right now. In our face. I'm talking about hardcore slavery to Barada. Uh, and the man. news makes mockery of the black female slavery. Uh, they go into the apartments. They got yeah. a leak and shit. They in there. The apartment all fucked up. But he know how to make the outside of the building look nice. But when you go in there, it's a shithole in there. It's a shithole, bro. In particular, eviction defined as the court-ordered removal of a tenant from the property where in which they reside has substantial driven of housing insecurity for black Americans with multifaceted and lasting impacts on families and individuals. This is about the COVID-19 vax. Uh, I, I could go on and read, but I don't want to waste any more precious time. Go finish up on the articles yourself. Look at the disproportionate burden of eviction on black women. Like I said, this is AmericanProgress.org and this as of August 14, 2023 of last year. Come now, on. Barada is, he was handling the, all of the city evictions. I forgot it was what, 900 yeah. and something evictions on the table. 90% yeah. of them was black females. Now, when you talk about Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1, I got a timer. I know I timer. multiple. Four fifteen is the next twenty-four minutes. I know multiple. No, we're gonna do that for ten. Okay. I know multiple females and multiple black males who have multiple children spread out amongst multiple other people. So I have a friend who have three baby mamas. I got a friend who got four baby mamas. I got. A friend, I got some females whose sons here I cut. They got two or three baby fathers. Um, he got two or three other baby mamas. So how what what am I getting at? We're getting to Isaiah chapter four, verse one. At some point through inflation okay. and through the crumbling of American society, we seen some of the infrastructure take a quote unquote accidental uh evaporation, you know what I'm saying, in the heart of the nation. Okay. You know, that bridge, boy, that song gonna went down. Come on, boy, 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 yeah. that, that looked real janky, man. Yeah, it looked suspect. That's it looked hella suspect. Janky. Yeah. Through the crumble of United States economy, the black woman is about to turn into some type of teamwork. Why? Because it's going to be revealed to them at some point you can't do it on your own. Absolutely. You can't do the younger ones, especially the ones with children. Yeah. If, if a food supply starts to dry up any, it's going to be some real ugly things that have to take place. Barada is only benefiting so much because if you one dude have three baby mamas in three different Barada properties. When he should have enough power and control over his family, because that's who they are at that point. If you have underage children, this is a family. So okay. you have a family out there that are paying three different rents to the same guy. Yeah. Facts. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Why? Yeah. Now, it's not entirely of the pride of the woman, but majority of this issue is coming from the pride that has been instilled in our women on how they look at 
the father of their child and any other women that's around that's dealt with him. Yeah. They would rather die struggling than say, hey, what makes better sense is me and you learn how to get along and let's go and build and move into a bigger house and we share the bills. We already got kids by him. This man done left DNA in your body already, but he not good enough for the three women who he left DNA in to get along. They don't even have to have sex with each other. They only really be having sex with one of them. And then make the children's lives better because now they live on the edge of Milwaukee instead of shoot them up, bang, bang, piss, roach, Verona Brown. Struggling to get school clothes, struggling to eat decent food. Yeah. We talking about the lesser of two evils if that's how you want to look at it. Right. But ultimately, he benefits from our dysfunction. That dysfunction is going to come to a head. And you're going to start seeing two, three women with one dude. And it's going to be forced into our community as a survival mechanism. Because they're not going to willingly do it. And it's going to be, I don't know if we're going to live to see it. We right. see, boy, it's teeter-tottering like this. And then you got to understand, you know all these women is going after the same guy, man. Look at Lisa Raven said it. She was yeah. on the show. She started half crying. She half shitted on her ex-husband. And then when it was time to stand up for his macking skills, because she was talking about Dwayne Martin and Will Smith yeah. introducing her husband to all these bitches, yeah. she said, oh, no, 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 don't get it twisted. My husband, when it, my ex-husband, when it came to women, oh, he was the man when it come to macking women. Wait a minute. You, you was just crying and complaining yeah. about that. Now you bragging about how, right, because deep down inside, they all like that. They like that. You got to be the cold. If you be cold, if a bro, we've all been in this situation. I, I, I would think that most of us have been in a situation where you're in the mall by yourself. Boy, you're smelling good. You're looking good in your mind. And they and then this girl working at the store. She's like, damn, she's looking at me. You know, hey, how you doing? Okay. You back with your girl. You ain't even looking as good. Then she see you. Well, then you see her again and now she speak to you hey I saw you with your woman what <laughs> what <laughs> What? huh oh now I'm worth something yeah 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 she cute too I saw you with your little girlfriend what you know how many times that happened to me walking through the mall that's happened you come through the mall no action you come back with a woman who in their mind think like they look like some if you go back through there, is you working at Sam Goody or something? Wasn't you here last week? I saw you. You was in here with your little girlfriend. Yeah, yeah I see yeah. y'all. Y'all was over there. What? What? Why? Because women are only attracted to men who women attracted to. I don't that's understand. Really, it's right. Weird, it's weird. It's weird, but that's how it is. It's true. And that's how you're going to start to see all of this humility come into Isaiah 4 and 1 to where all these women will start going and just accepting the fact that it's so bad out here. Now, remember, we must tell you this is not going to be done willingly. This is going to be a forced economic situation. It ain't going to be Dang. about sexual lust. No. It's going to be, you ain't got no other choice. Yeah, get down or lay down. Right, cause mm -hmm. cause ain't no ain't no homeless shelters around here like that. What do you think this squatting situation is all about? Right. And speaking of squatting, do you know that say you got a property, mm -hmm. you catch somebody squatting, they just got they got more rights to squat than you to mm -hmm. kick. Yeah, them you gotta, out you gotta kick them out legally. It's crazy. So somebody can right now any empty house in this city, if ain't nobody living in it, a squatter can live move in that house. Today. Have some mail sent to that house. Right. I don't even think they got to do that no more. I think a law right. just passed to where once they in there, it's yeah. their house. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got to go to court. You got to go through a whole lot of shit to get them out. So they can literally live there three, four months on your dime until they get you know the legal rights to get you up out of there. Yeah. So we talking about a forced situation. Man, what's going on with our community is so bad. We don't know where to start. Right. It ain't no way. It, I mean, what you just said, bro, was eloquently spoken because it, it just lets you know that Esau, a.k.a. Great Drink, has misled 
the, the, our sisters to believe in that matriarch. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Matriarch gets no play in this ride, bro. So all the pleasure comes from material, hoarding materials. That's it. That's it. Home goods. That's it. Stuff that don't even matter. Yeah. This is what the economy is. That they propping up the economy with all yes. this. Frivolous spending, and at some point, it's gonna it's gonna crash out. Bro. Is that twenty? It's yeah. Gonna crash out. Cool.